caught and if it gets to the point he shall carry me <laughs> run have fun and then uh, if they get too close smack them down right I mean they're coming after me so I'm terrified I don't do haunted houses but it's for a good call so I came out <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's great working for an organization that actually stands behind the zombie run <laughs> and um, supports the juvenile diabetes. You get, you get to see all the people that has the same thing that you do, so straight off the bat, you have something in common at least. It just feels so great that so many people came out here to support such a great cause. I really signed up because um, the sheriffs are putting it on, and I'm a big supporter of all of our law enforcement and military. So if, any, if they're doing something to help somebody out, then I want to do something to help them out. I mean, that's what we should be doing as Americans. Blaine, we've known he's, he's had juvenile diabetes for 11 months now. It's changed our way of our livelihood, our way of life, but Blaine has probably affected him the least. He's been a real trooper, Blaine has. He's dealt with it very well. We were all surprised at how well he's adjusted, you know, to the taking the shots and the finger pricks. I don't know, he, he acts like there's not a whole lot to it, you know, he just rolls with it. On a normal day-to-day -day basis, I know I didn't before a blank come up, you don't realize what, what these kids go through. It's important that, that they keep doing studies and raising money to try to, try to find a cure or a better way for these kids to take care of themselves. How do you feel? Fire. 